Did <laughs> so, you get any feedback? I mean, from from number ten and people like that? Did they... <coughs> well, there's stories that, that, that uh, like Blair says that his kids do impressions of me doing impressions of him. <laughs> and, um, I, I met him very, very briefly at, um, at some opening about a year a year ago, and um, I just said something about the government making it too easy for us, and, and all he just because he's, he's very very he always looks knackered, and he just went, he just went. <laughs> My, my kids, my my kids, and I think that's it. He doesn't. He's far too busy to watch. But I think he's. Good. And he he did once. He made. Um, I think it was the middle one. I think it was Nikki stand up and he said, "Look, watch this." And uh, this this kid was going, "I like apple pie, <laughs> but not that it's not too much cream." Uh, unless of course you like cream. And uh, and so dad 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 Blair was watching this and sort of the mixture of pride and 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 <laughs> fear, I suppose. I don't know what it was, but anyway. But what about HRH? Because uh, uh, you go down to Highgrove and uh, there is oh. Prince Charles, and that's another one. That, uh, well, no, vi no, victim's not the right word. Yes, oh. victim's a good word. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am a victim, Mike. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, that was in connection with uh, was an, uh, another thing that I was doing. With uh, it was Welsh National Opera, and they were having a, um, a kind of fundraising thing because they had to do a lot of, a lot of fundraising because they're still trying to break down barriers because opera is still seen as elitist, but. Everyone plays opera in the car or listens to it on... I mean, you can't do a car advert without having an opera mm, track. That's right. And this idea that, you know, some people have daytime television and other have, others have culture, you know, like, you know, you say opera, I say opera, let's call the whole thing <laughs> up. I mean, I think... <laughs> so, so that's kind of... It's a sort of mission to, to um, do different opera things. And this is a fundraiser, and, uh, and Prince Charles hosted this in this extraordinary sort of wonderful extension. I mean, I don't know how he got the planning permission, but... Uh, <laughs> Mum, good I... Um, and um, so, uh, and I had to introduce it, and I would say, well, opera is this extraordinary, it's a, it, it can be a fantasy world, and opera, it's a world, it's a world of, of, of kings and rulers and court intrigue and grand passions, and I looked down, and he was sitting there, and I could see he was thinking, oh, bloody hell, I can get all that at home. extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever use your voice to actually... Um they call restaurants or things like that. Do you ever use a, a, a uh, yeah, Well, no, yeah, I did once as Mandela. And what was, did you uh, do? It's Mandela. <laughs> yes, that was <laughs> uh, a table for, for four. No, make that three, because Winnie's not coming. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, you get a kind of... Uh, you know, then, then you turn up. They don't really believe it. I, I, I think, you know, yeah, 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 Mandela. Mandela. But, um, no, it's always during the petrol strike when we were doing the um, uh, Tony Blair film, I used to turn up at petrol stations dressed as Blair, and you kind of hoped that there would be a reaction. <laughs> but most of them would just look and say, yeah, all right, Rory, how you doing? All right, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a slightly disappointing bit. Of... And, and finally, we would be talking to, to, to uh, David quite a bit about, about celebrity. Um, and I, I was talking to you before the show, and you, you just... I want you to repeat the audience, a wonderful definition of celebrity that you want. Oh, yeah, to it was... It was um, this is just it all into a nutshell. Yeah, it's it's so. Quentin Crisp, who's Quentin. a wonderful, a tremendous... It wasn't from Manchester, although he did die there, strangely enough. <laughs> and uh, so he... I remember he, I used to go watch his wonderful um, one-man shows he did about style, and he, he would say, you see, the thing about celebrity, he said, if you find that the photographers are sticking their lenses into your laboratory, the secret isn't to build higher and higher walls, but to learn to urinate with style. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's what we have to learn how to do now. <laughs> the mind boggle. So the, the Channel 4 thing is out, what? Uh, yes, uh, no, three weeks' time. Three weeks' right. time. It's, uh, and it's called 19th. The... It's called My Government and I. My tonight. Government and I. OK, Rory Bremner, thank you very much indeed. Rory Bremner. <laughs> Excellent. Very good indeed. A reminder there of the um, <coughs> jazz guitar was, it your, in fact, your, uh, your great love, wasn't it? And yeah, it's, it's always, I always find it difficult you know, when you're singing a song to perform with your heart and, yeah. and voice, yeah. and all of a sudden you've got to grab the guitar and you know, it's, a, it's a bit difficult for me, but I mean, it's and, and, and the, and the, uh, the uh, bit of French here at the end as well. Now, I know that you've uh, been a big debate with you about uh, what's a sexiest language to sing in. I rather prefer sometimes singing in English. Well, why is that? Well, because, you know, the, the English language goes, oh, 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 good life, all of fun, seems to be. <laughs> and when it's in French, like, uh, plein de trucs trop trop <laughs> We have a lot of those sounds. We seem very, to be very romantic here, but yeah. not always. Now, uh, football, of course, you're a big football fan. Who's your, who's your favourite French team? French team? Oh, Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 
But uh, they're the news. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great truth in that, isn't there? There aren't many English players. Well, a few English players left, actually, isn't there? Playing for an English club. And, and what a good one. What a player, yeah. But, I mean, um, just actually it occurred to me that there's, there's three, I'll be modest, but three sex symbols here tonight. Yes. And I, I mean, I, I think <laughs> it's, 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 it's the... It's the That's first an exaggeration. I, no, 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 no. You're a sex symbol as well? Uh, hardly. <laughs> you I could, can be one. You could, yes. Actually, when we were filming, I, I came home as Tony Blair. There wasn't time to change, so I just had to come home as Tony Blair. And my wife said, well, why don't you, you know, keep that on for bed? And, uh, so... <laughs> but, she, but she made me promise not to do it as Robin Cook. 